If you guys are curious to see how I got that big ass wheel on the back of my Fox body, why don't you stick around, hit that like, and subscribe? Let's get into it. Down beside that red firelight. Oh, you gonna let it all hang out, fat bottom girls. You make the rocking world go round. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. You guys gotta excuse the mess here in the garage. We've got a lot of things going on here, a lot of restoration going on, but. One of the videos I've been meaning to do for the longest time is to show you how I fit a 10 and a half inch wheel and a 315 on the back of my stock Fox body. You guys see the pictures here of my Mustang. I've, I've taken a lot of pictures of my Mustangs. Um, you can see the stance and the way these wheels look. And it's not just the Kobo reps, but it's just the way these are backspaced and the way they actually look on the Mustang. It's just absolutely appealing to me in every way, shape and form. And this is definitely something that you might want to do to your fox body as well. I mean, who doesn't like a fat ass stance on a fox body, bro? Right? Hmm. But first things first, let's define the fact that it's not a stock fox body, but it's still got the factory fox body 8.8 .8 axle. So bear with me. Let's get this car up in the air. I will get this wheel off and I will show you how I did it. I still got the drum brakes. So let's get the car up and I'll show you. All right, guys, I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of comments and questions on how did I fit this wheel and tire on this car? And how big is my tire? How big is my wheel, etc. What we have here is the SVE 0304 Cobra replicas. These are the deep dish model ones. So that means this wheel is an actual 17 by 10 and a half wide. Now, most of you guys that are new to the Fox Body world or Fox Body channel itself know that Normal wheels don't have that lip. They usually just have a face. They might have a little bit of a lip here, but usually they're just, the way the offset is and the way the hub is set, it's just a normal wheel. But LMR actually sells their own branded wheel replicas that actually have a deep dish section to it. And it makes for a really nice, fat, wide tire on the back of your Fox body. Now I got this idea from Project Hot Wheels. If you guys remember Project Hot Wheels, I bought this car and it had, I absolutely fell in love with the deep dish uh, anniversary wheels that were on it. And then that's what kind of sparked me to, to buy these for my Black Fox body. So these are a 315, 35, 17 on a 10 and a half inch wheel that fits inside of a Fox body wheel well without any sort of caging or any sort of uh, mini tub. And you can see it sits almost perfectly level with the fender, but sits just outside, just enough for me to be happy. Now keep in mind, this is my factory Fox body axle, 8.8 .8 axle. I have done a number of modifications to the axle itself, but as far as the width is concerned and the way the wheel sits, I have not touched any of that. So let's go ahead and get this wheel off and I'll uh, let you take a look at the way it looks, how wide it is on the ground, and then we'll talk about what's behind that wheel. Hey! I was just a skinny lad, never knew no good but I knew life before I, I kind of got this off. Now, as you can see, that's a big ass wheel, bros. Look how wide this thing is. It's every bit of 12 inches, if not a little bit more, about 12 inches. But you could get a sneak peek of what I got going on in here. And I even got three inch tailpipes coming by the wheel. You probably wonder yourself, well, how the hell did I get that to work? Well, here's the main thing I wanted to teach y'all. I know that I wanted a deep dish. I know that I wanted a big wheel in the back without having to cut my Fox body up. But my back spacing had to be right. So what is backspacing? Backspacing is, is from the back of the hub to the edge of the, the wheel itself. And you can see this is about seven inches, six and a three quarter or whatever. Uh, the exact measurements obviously are on LML, LMR's website, but this isn't the only deep dish that they actually have. But the, the way the backspacing works with this wheel and the way I got it set up with my spacers allow me to put this wheel on the back of my Fox body on a stock length axle. Now, there's a couple things you need to keep in mind. In order for us to run big wheels on the back of our Fox body and have that fat ass stance like we like, we have to run spacers. Now, the other side, if you notice, Fox bodies are a little offset. I run about an, a quarter inch spacer on this side. I think it's a half inch spacer on the other and it puts the wheel literally perfectly with this fender. I also run C-clip eliminators, but you don't have to run C-clip eliminators on your Fox body to get this to work. 
The only thing that really matters is the backspacing of the wheel, the, the type of spacers you use, and of course, the three inch studs. Now the three inch studs are the most important thing. It actually allows you to move the wheel out further so you could get that stance that you want. And there's one more thing I wanna talk about. When you bring your wheel out, is you're gonna make sure you wanna roll your fenders. Now there's a lot of videos on how to do this. Um, mine aren't completely flat, but the, it's best that this is all the way flat. That way it doesn't come in here and cut your tire if you get your stance a little bit low and start looking like shit, you know what I mean? But you can see how big this wheel is. Absolute monster. It's got a good back spacing on it and it's perfect for the fit of this Fox body. Now I had to wait for these wheels for about six months just to get them. They changed the way my car looked. I absolutely love them. You know, on both sides, you got that nice, sits right there on the fender. It's got that deep dish look. Of course, you can't really see it on this side. So guys, again, there's, there's nothing in here that you can't do to your Fox body at home. If you simply were to pull these axles out or change them to 31 spline, do yourself a favor, get some ARP three inch axle studs and run three inch axle studs, even if you're not gonna use them and buy yourself some quality spacers. You could put whatever wheel you want just like that pretty much on your Fox body without having to actually tub this or beat the shit out of it to get this to fit in here. You see what I mean? As you can see, I'm running the weight jackers for a different stance, which is nice. That's another adjustable thing I can do. These are factory half coil, full coil rear GT springs. I run the C-clip eliminators inside here, which still leave this axle at its stock length. And I still run nines with this car and have no problem stopping, even with the Fox bracing in front. But that's not really the right thing to do or the right thing to say. I will tell you this, you will have to get rid of your quad plates. There's no way you can fit a 10 and a half inch tire or 315 inch tire on the back here with these quad plates. But honestly guys, it's, there's no rhyme or reason that you can't do this to your own Fox body if you wanna get that stance. Get that fender rolled, buy you some spacers, quarter and half inch, get you some three inch axle studs and get them put in your axles. And you can do this to your factory Fox body one at home. It's no secret. Just pay attention to your backspacing. It's gotta be similar to these backspacing in order for this to work. If you wanna put a nice 315 on the back of your car. So guys, I hope I helped you with the stance of your car. I hope this gives you an idea, some ideas on what you can do to make your Fox body look better and more appealing. I really like the deep dish wheels. I really like the Cobra replica wheels. We have this car sitting exactly where we want it with the weight jackers as far as stance is concerned and as far as wheel look is concerned. So guys, if you, if you want to do something like a deep dish or a 10 and a half inch wheel or a 315 in the back of your Fox bodies, hell yeah, it'll work. You're just going to have to put a little bit of work in. You're going to pull a little engineering in, uh, put some three inch studs in, put some wheel spacers and with a combination of a, of a few right measurements and understanding of how it works, you could have that fit on your Fox body too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up, that like, and make sure you hit that bell for notification so you get notified when we upload cool videos like this. Outside of that, there's a join membership below. Give something back to the channel. There's perks for being a member of the channel. I appreciate you guys' watch time, so I'll see you soon in the next video. Stay tuned for Fox Days of Christmas. That's coming very shortly. I'll be giving away a lot of really cool gifts. See you soon, thank you. Now I got more disease and all